I think it's a momentous day and, and something we should celebrate. Gerard, do, do you mind if I ask you to say a few no, words? No, it's all Chris. No, in terms of echoing some of the things that Chris has already said, I've been struck today in conversations I've had um, with people from both Lydos and Kuna Nagel who have absolutely made it clear that this would not have happened if it had not been for the involvement of the unions in this. So it's not quite often that you go to these sort of events where people say, actually the union was fundamental to us securing this, not just the contract, but the investment for the area. And it is a significant investment for the area, and you know, all credit to the role that the council played in that, uh, both Bill as the cabinet member and Kuldip as the, uh, the leader, because at one stage they literally had uh, a, a two week period in which to secure the land to make this happen. And if that hadn't been the case, and if it had not been for some innovative work in terms of convincing uh, uh, local opposition that they should uh, back the scheme, the, the people who lived close to it, then we could have got dragged into a judicial review and a whole dragging out the time scale, which would not have seen this happen here at Donington. So, I, you know, you just sense it today, what a team effort this has been. And a best, um, one of the best illustrations of how when the union rolls up its sleeve, when the trade union movement does what it needs to do, in the best interests of its members, it does a really, really good job at that. And certainly Chris, and you know, he's paid tribute to a number of other people, he's kept me briefed all through this process, but Chris has been fundamental to anchoring all of this. I recognise the role of other activists, and you know, we pay tribute to them, but absolutely Chris has been fundamental to making sure that this has uh, stayed on track. And that, you know, let's face it, the first time he briefed me on this, he said, this is going to Vista. And I said, well, what can we do about it? And that's where it really started from, about how, how he sat down with the team and set this right. Because I know, you know, it is disappointing for, the, uh, for some of the Unite members and other trade union members in Vista. But the reality is, in terms of serving the local economy and an area that needs this investment, I know that the job opportunities and the future for Vista will be comparatively secure compared to if this site had gone. Uh, and we had lost the situation here because this has been, for generations of families in this area, a vital employer. And an employer that they've served with some pride because they know actually what they are doing in terms of the end game in supporting British uh, troops in active service in some of the most dangerous theatres of war uh, that has ever been experienced uh, in conflicts that the uh, that Britain's been involved in. So there is that sense of pride and understanding in the community of the job that's done. And actually to have seen that service over generations being lost because of uh, not having uh, won the contract would have been, well it would have been a disservice to the, to the people who committed their lives over all of those years. So I'm really pleased myself to be here in celebrating this event. And what we are looking at here in terms of the investment the future for jobs, the security for our members, and the recognition of the role of the trade union movement in a really positive light in securing jobs and investment for the future. Well, that's what it should Thank be. You. That's what we should be on the headlines for, yeah. and that's what we are today. So I'm really pleased to be. Thank you, Gerard.